Have you ever pondered why some people seem to achieve their goals effortlessly while others continually struggle and fail? Could it be a lack of self-discipline? Let's delve into this thought. Self-discipline or the lack thereof plays a significant role in our journey towards success or failure. It's the ability to make decisions, take action, and persist through challenges and setbacks. It's what helps successful individuals resist temptations that lead to failure, like procrastination or immediate gratification. Now, think about reasons why people fail. One major reason is a lack of persistence. Giving up too quickly or not setting clear achievable goals can lead to a long and hard fall. Persistence combined with self-discipline can help us overcome failure, and it's an attribute often seen in successful people. Another reason why people fail is fear. Fear of failure can be paralyzing, making us less likely to take risks or strive for success. This fear can create a self-fulfilling prophecy where we're more likely to fail simply because we expect to. The inability to resist temptation is another cause of failure. We live in a world full of distractions and it's easy to fall prey to instant gratification. But self-discipline teaches us to delay gratification, to work hard now for a better reward in the future. Building strong relationships and taking responsibility for our actions also go a long way in nurturing self-discipline. They make us accountable, pushing us to strive for better, even when the going gets tough. So the lack of self-discipline can lead us down the road to failure. But remember, failure isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's a learning opportunity, a chance to take a step back, reassess and come back stronger. Without self-discipline, even the most talented individuals can fall short of their potential. So, let's take a moment to reflect on our own self-discipline or the lack thereof and consider how it impacts our success and failure. Let's make a conscious effort to nurture this crucial trait and set ourselves on the path to success. And remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and that step starts with self-discipline. Let's take the story of John, a once successful entrepreneur who faced a massive failure due to lack of self-discipline. John, like many successful individuals, started with a dream, a vision that propelled him to work tirelessly, day in and day out. His road to success was paved with persistence and self-discipline, the two pillars that held his dreams aloft. But as John tasted success, he began to falter. Complacency crept in, and the self-discipline that once defined him started to wane. He began to succumb to immediate gratification, choosing the comfort of the present over the promise of the future. He started to procrastinate, pushing important tasks to the back burner. Under the false belief that he could always catch up later, the lack of self-discipline started to show in his work. Deadlines were missed and quality started to slip. John's once flourishing venture began to falter. His lack of persistence in the face of challenges began to cost him. Instead of standing up to the trials, he chose to avoid them to take the easy way out. His fear of failure, which had once pushed him to work harder, now held him back. John's story is a stark reminder of how quickly success can slip through our fingers if we let go of self-discipline. It shows us how the lack of persistence, the inability to resist immediate gratification, and succumbing to the fear of failure can lead to downfall. But remember, failure is not the end of the road. It's a stop sign, a detour, a chance to reflect, learn, and grow. In John's case, it was an opportunity for him to realize the importance of self-discipline and the role it plays in achieving success. John's story is a stark reminder that without self-discipline, success is fleeting. But John's story didn't end there. He decided to take responsibility for his failure and make a change. John, once a failed entrepreneur, began a journey of transformation. He started by acknowledging his lack of self-discipline as a major reason for its failure. He realized that he had often given in to temptations that led him astray, procrastinated, and lacked persistence. John decided to take a stand against his old habits. He began practicing self-discipline, one area of his life at a time. He started setting clear and attainable goals. These weren't vague aspirations, but concrete milestones that he wanted to achieve. He understood that the road to success was long and hard, but he was willing to embark on it. He resisted the temptations that previously led him off course. This wasn't easy. Temptations are hard to resist. They offer immediate gratification. But John knew that succumbing to them would only result in a lack of results 
and another long and hard fall. So, he stood his ground. He practiced self-control, an integral aspect of self-discipline. But the journey wasn't smooth. There were times when he stumbled, when he felt like giving up. But he remembered his past failures. The lack of discipline that made him more likely to fail. He didn't want to repeat his past mistakes, so he persevered. He learned to see failure not as a setback, but as an opportunity to learn and grow. He also realized that self-discipline was not just about resisting temptations or setting goals. It was also about taking risks, stepping out of his comfort zone and not fearing failure. He understood that successful individuals, those who succeed in life, are those who are not afraid to fail. They are the ones who, even in the face of failure, keep pushing forward. John wanted to be one of them. John's comeback is a testament to the power of self-discipline and persistence. His journey to redemption teaches us two important lessons. That self-discipline is crucial for success. And that failure is not the end, but a stepping stone towards success. John's journey imparts two important lessons about self-discipline and failure. The first lesson is the role that self-discipline, or the lack thereof, plays in failure. John's initial downfall was largely due to his lack of self-discipline. He let temptation and instant gratification take control. And as a result, he procrastinated and failed to take responsibility for his actions. He lacked persistence, gave up too quickly, and was afraid to take risks. This led to his eventual failure in life. Self-discipline is the ability to make decisions that might not be the most gratifying at the moment, but they will go a long way in helping you to achieve your goals. It's about resisting the temptations that lead to procrastination and lack of results. It's about setting major and minor milestones and having the persistence to keep going even when things get tough. The second lesson from John's story is that it's never too late to cultivate self-discipline. John's greatest failure in life was not his downfall, but his belief that self-discipline was something he could not attain. But, as we've seen, he was able to turn his life around. He started practicing self-discipline, taking responsibility for what happens in his life and building strong relationships. He learned to see failure not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to success. Our greatest failures often teach us our most important lessons. John learned that without self-discipline, he was likely to fail. But he also learned that with self-discipline, he could always overcome failure. He realized that he had the power to change his life. And he did. So, remember, lack of self-discipline can lead to failure. But it's never too late to cultivate this all-important trait. Successful individuals are those who master self-control and are less likely to give in to temptation. They are the ones who see failure as a stepping stone to success, rather than a roadblock. Embrace failure as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block, and remember that self-discipline is the key to overcoming it. So, think about your own life and where you might be lacking self-discipline. Remember John's story. We've taken a deep dive into the role of self-discipline, or rather, the lack of it, in why people fail to achieve their goals. We've seen how John, an ambitious entrepreneur, fell short due to a lack of self-discipline. But John's story didn't end there, did it? He took responsibility for what happened, built strong relationships and practiced self-discipline, eventually turning his failure into a success. The major reasons why people fail often come down to a lack of persistence and the inability to resist temptation. We give up too quickly succumbing to immediate gratification instead of playing the long game. The road to success is paved with discipline and persistence. Remember, Successful individuals are those who understand the importance of self-discipline and make an active effort to strengthen it. They resist the temptations that lead to a lack of results. And they don't fear failure. They see failure as a stepping stone, a lesson to be learned, and a catalyst for improvement. Think about the areas in your life where you're more likely to give in to temptation. Is it procrastination? Is it the fear of taking risks? Or perhaps it's the inability to set major and minor milestones towards your goals. Whatever it is, acknowledging these areas is the first step towards improvement. Practicing self-discipline goes a long way in life. Not only does it make you less likely to fail, but it also prepares you for the long and hard fall when you eventually do. Remember, failure in life isn't a stop sign. It's a guideline. Now reflect on your own journey. Where can you apply more self-discipline? How can you turn your failures into lessons? And most importantly, how can you succeed in life? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Remember, success starts with self-discipline.